OK, so in this section we are going to learn how to find the general solution. Of. A linear differential equation. F D. Y equal to some function. Let's call that function to be uh, phi of x. OK, so let us see how to solve this type of. Differential equations. So in the previous lectures, what we have done is we have taken all the differential equations of the form f dy equal to 0 right so this we know how to solve this type of differential equations linear differential equations these are called homogeneous linear differential equations linear differential equation okay means RHS is on the right hand side. You have a zero. Now what we will do is on the right hand side, we will take some function like this. Then we will try to find out how to write the general solution. OK, for that what we will do is we will first write down something called as inverse operator. So just write what is meant by the inverse operator. One upon F D. Okay, now what is this inverse operator? The inverse operator. If I operate this inverse operator. On. F D. Of. Phi of X. Then. I will get. Phi of X back. OK, so I'll explain you what is the meaning of this. It is act, it looks it is actually very simple. So I will take some function. Suppose I take the function uh, say x square. Then I will operate a differential operator on that. FD is a differential operator. What is it? So I will suppose I say let us find the derivative. So this is like FD. In d of x what he says d of d by dx is what d so who is your fd in this example that i'm showing you fd is your d and then what is one upon fd so one upon fd is something what is the derivative of x is 2x what should i do 2x what should I write here who is this person so that when I operate 1 upon fd on fd of 5x I will get 5x back I will get 5x again so I will get x square again so what should I do to 2x so that I will get x square now we all know that integration of 2x is what 2 into x square by 2 plus some constant i'm ignoring the constant which i'm getting to be x squared so for this example this example that i've shown you for this example the inverse operator 
is nothing but integration for this example what was the fun what was fd what was the differential operator the differential operator was derivative and therefore what is the inverse of derivative the inverse of derivative is integration so if you take a function if you find the derivative and then if i integrate it i will again get what i will get again the function back so inverse operator operator function will give you the function back right so this is the idea behind it so basically what am i looking at inverse operator as i'm looking at it as some kind of integration okay now let us see what is the use of this inverse operator okay so what is our aim to solve when we solve problems these things will be very much clear to you okay to solve differential equation f d y equal to 5x this is my aim okay now what i will do is i will first look at the homogeneous part so what is the corresponding homogeneous part the homogeneous part homogeneous differential equation is what is f d y equal to 0 this is a homogeneous differential equation corresponding is ka corresponding homogeneous differential equation and what is the solution do you know how to find the solution of this homogeneous differential equation yes in all the previous lectures i have taught you how to solve the homogeneous differential equation so in all the previous lectures if you see carefully all the differential equations were equal to zero right so i will find the roots of the auxiliary equation if they are real complex repeated everything is done and then i will write the solution now this solution i will start calling because original equation is different it is phi of x but i am not solving the original differential equation i am solving something which is a homogeneous part of that equation right so i am not actually solving the original differential equation so its solution is called the complementary function complementary function and is denoted by y c it is denoted by y c now this means yc satisfies this differential equation yc will satisfy okay because it is a solution so yc will satisfy this differential equation right this means yc satisfies star that is f d y c must be equal to zero means y c must satisfy the above homogeneous differential equation and that is y c is its solution so let me call this i'm sorry it should call star yeah. let me call this as a 
now see remember i'll recall again i want to solve this equation instead of solving this equation instead of solving this equation directly what i have done is i first made this a phi of x instead of taking phi of x i've taken zero and i've found a solution and that solution i'm calling yc let yp be the solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation which i which we want to solve non-homogeneous differential equation who is that differential equation namely f dy equal to phi of x okay this is that non-homogeneous differential equation this means that this means that f d of y p because yp is the solution so yp must satisfy this equation differential operator who is that inverse differential operator one upon fd one upon fd of fd of yp is equal to i am operating it on the both the sides okay like it is like integrating both the sides okay so as good as integration integration of this equal to integration of this something like this okay in rough sense f d phi of x but what do we know about 1 upon f d f d y p what do we know about this let us go to the definition what is the definition saying the definition is saying that 1 upon fd into fd of anything will give you the same thing right this means that 1 upon fd of fd of yp will give me what will give me yp so this entire thing is like integrating and differentiating yp which will give me yp again is equal to 1 upon fd phi of x okay i'm repeating the step it is integrating something like integration which is 1 upon fd then differentiation which is fd and of whom of yp and that is equal to 1 upon fd of the function phi x means integral of phi of x in a rough sense but i wanted to find yp who was yp yp was the solution of the non homogeneous differential equation so i have obtained the formula for yp that this yp must be inverse differential operator means 1 upon ft of the right hand side whatever is given to the right hand side okay now i have got the this p is the particular this yp is called a particular solution this yp is called it's also called particular integral so let me write the same words particular integral or particular solution So for the differential equation, I have two things now. One is yc, which is called a complementary function. And second part, which is I'm calling b now, which is the particular integral. 
and therefore the general solution we have two solutions one is the solution of the homogeneous equation is yc and the the other solution is yp which is of the original differential equation so what is the general solution if you have two solutions you can add the two solutions and that also becomes a solution so y will be equal to this is the general solution y is equal to complementary function means the part of the homogeneous thing which is yc plus the solution of the non homogeneous part which is called the particular integral plus yp so this is complementary function plus particular integral so now onwards whenever you get a non homogeneous linear differential equation what we will do is we will find the solution of the homogeneous part which is complementary function then we will turn on to find the particular integral using this formula and their addition will give us the general solution okay all the differential equation dy by dx minus m y equal to y of x solve this differential equation solution okay now what we will do is we will first use our old method to solve this differential equation if you carefully look at this differential equation this differential equation looks like it looks like what it looks like dy by dx plus p x y equal to q x this differential equation is called linear differential equation and do you remember what what uh, was the technique to solve the linear differential equation we find integrating factor we find integrating factor and what was the integrating factor i will call the integrating factor r it is e raised to integration minus sorry e raised to integration pdx sorry no, not minus pdx this was the integrating factor so here the integrating factor is e raised to integration minus m is playing the role of p e raised to minus m dx which is equal to e raised to minus m x so this is the integrating factor once you get the integrating factor then you can write the solution how do you write the solution of when you get the integrating factor you write therefore y into the integrating factor is equal to integration of q into the integrating factor plus constant of integration this is how you write the solution right therefore y into who is my integrating factor e raised to minus mx e raised to minus mx is equal to integration who is playing the role of q here the role of q is played by what the role of q is played by 5x is equal to integration 5x into e raised to minus mx plus constant therefore if i move this e raised to minus mx on that side i will get the solution is y finally who is the solution solution is y 
right? So when I move this in e raised to minus mx on that side, it will multiply this and this both, right? So this will mean that it is e raised to minus mx integration phi of x, not e raised to minus, e raised to plus mx into phi of x into e raised to minus mx plus c e raised to mx because this e raised to mx is multiplying this and this both. So this is the solution of the given linear differential equation of dy by solution of dy by dx minus mx my equal to phi of x okay this was the differential equation and we have found out the solution using our knowledge of linear differential equations by finding integrating factor and then writing the general solution okay this is this is very this is already done by you people in your first year classes okay now i will try to solve the same differential equation and try to get something new some new information by using the things that i have taught you above yc and yp okay so will it give me some good information now? On the other hand, dy by dx minus my equal to phi x can be written as d y minus m y equal to phi x which is equal to d minus m y equal to phi x which is looking like which looks like f d y equal to phi x f d which is d minus m so who is f d here so here f d is nothing but d minus m okay now what is what have I taught you in the above part? So what is the homogeneous equation? What is the corresponding homogeneous equation? It is f dy is equal to zero means d minus m y is equal to, this is the homogeneous equation. And therefore, this is homogeneous equation and therefore we know how to solve a homogeneous equation. How do you solve a homogeneous equation? You write the auxiliary equation. What is the auxiliary equation? Auxiliary equation is f of t equal to zero. Now why I'm writing f of t? Because you have already a m a chukai, okay? So that is why I'm, I'm not using f of m. Other that m and this m will confuse me. So f of t is equal to zero, which is t minus m is equal to zero. And therefore t takes the value how much? t is equal to m. So this is the root of the auxiliary equation. m is the root of the auxiliary equation. And therefore what is the complementary function? C1 e raised to mx. This is a complementary function. Okay, and what was the general solution? But 
Uh, I'm sorry. What is a particular integral? What is particular integral? Y p. What is the formula of particular integral? Uh, do I have it above somewhere? Have we derived the formula of what is a particular integral? Y p is given by one upon f d phi of x. So it is equal to one upon f of d phi of x. Okay. Means y p is one upon d minus m. Correct. What is f d? F d was f d was d minus m, right? So it is one upon d minus m phi of x. This is my y p. I will keep it as it is. Therefore, what is the general solution? And I know. That the general solution is y equal to y c plus y p. Therefore, y is equal to y c. What is the complementary function? C one e raised to m x. Actually, why am I writing C one C one? Let me just write C because there is only one constant, right? There are no two constants. C e raised to m x plus What is y p? One upon d minus m phi of x. This is the general solution of the given differential equation. Which differential equation of the differential equation? D y by d x minus m y. Equal to phi x. So we have solved the same question by two different methods. This was method one. Right? What was the solution by method one? The solution came up to be this. C e raised to m x. Plus in e raised to m x integration phi x e raised to minus m x and by method two this is method two method two says that the solution is again c e raised to m x plus one upon d minus m phi of x. Therefore, if I compare both the solutions. If you compare both the solutions, because they are actually same, right? One is solved by method one, and other is solved by method two. Compare both the solutions. What do we conclude? We have y is equal to c e raised to m x plus e raised to m x integration e raised to minus m x. Phi of x dx. This is just method one solution. What is method two solution? It is saying c e raised to m x y here. This is same. Plus, is k pure jaga ke kya aega? One upon d minus m phi of x. So, what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is that these two must be the same, right? So, what is our conclusion? Let us write it. So, we conclude that one upon d minus m. Phi of x is nothing but e raised to m x integration e raised to minus m x phi of x d x. This is the most important formula that we wanted to derive from this example. Okay, so we were actually deriving the formula. This was not an example. This was a derivation of this formula, right? Now, am I able to solve some problems using this formula? Let us take a very simple exercise so that you will understand how to solve this particular exercise. Uh, How to use this? So let me write one simple example. Solve.
dy by dx plus y equal to e raised to e raised to x okay let us try this solution now i will solve this using all my capital d one upon fd methods method two okay not method one right so what is this this is dy plus y we want to increase the speed of solving okay it's e raised to e raised to x which is d plus one y equal to e raised to e raised to x so what is the homogeneous equation the homogeneous equation will become d plus one y equal to zero this means the auxiliary equation auxiliary equation we write only for which people we write auxiliary equation for only homogeneous differential equations right so if m is equal to how much m plus one and that becomes equal to zero and this means that m is equal to the root is minus one and therefore what is the solution now that the solution we will call it what we will call complementary function why complementary function because the given differential equation is a non-homogeneous differential equation so when you solve the auxiliary equation and when you get the roots we will not write here general solution now now we will write it as a complementary solution is equal to e raised to minus 1x e raised to minus 6 so yc is e raised to minus 6 now let us try to find what is yp to find yp what is the formula of yp yp is 1 upon fd phi of x who is phi of x phi of x matlab right hand side who is in the right hand side right hand side is e raised to e raised to x right so it is 1 upon fd what is fd fd is uh, d plus 1 correct so this is d plus 1 so 1 upon d plus 1 e raised to e raised to x okay now what is this equal to now i will use the formula that i have written above what was the formula do i remember the formula the formula was 1 upon d minus m let me write it here for corner 1 minus d minus m phi of x was how much what is the formula of that it was e raised to mx integration e raised to minus mx phi x dx okay so here who is playing the role of m now the role of m here is minus one it formula because you have plus one right here and the formula has a minus m so this will mean that it is equal to how much e raised to minus 1x integration e raised to 1x because minus and minus plus 1x into e raised to e raised to x dx okay i hope this is clear to all of you this m is equal to minus 1 comes up from the formula this m equal to minus 1 comes from the formula when i compare 1 upon d plus 1 and when i compare 1 upon d minus m so this means that minus m is 1 therefore m is equal to minus 1 okay which is equal to e raised to minus x integration e raised to x into e raised to e raised to x dx and now 
we know how do we integrate this you see here e raised to x is repeatedly coming if something is coming repeatedly the best thing to do is that just substitute some simple thing instead of it so i will write e raised to x is equal to t and when i differentiate both sides i will get e raised to x dx is equal to 1 dt this means that e raised to x dx this product e raised to x and dx can be simply replaced by dt which is e raised to minus x this is outside the integration so don't do anything to that person integration e raised to x into dx has become dt and what will happen to this person it will become just e raised to t and do i know what is integration of e raised to t integration of e raised to t is e raised to t plus constant i'm ignoring the constants right now it is to minus x e raised to t is integration but who is t t was e raised to x so it is e raised to minus x into e raised to e raised to x so this is your yp this is the particular solution and therefore what is a general solution therefore the general solution is y equal to yc plus yp and therefore y is equal to what was the part what is the complementary function c e raised to how much it was c e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus x e raised to e raised to x because of the differential equation they had take of the non-homogeneous differential equation that so this means that in my coming classes we will also need little bit of practice of integration somewhere we are going to need integration